everybody, a long time no see. Welcome back. Uh, sorry that it's been literally forever since I posted anything. I've been on a school break for the past couple of weeks, uh, but of course school starts back up again later on this week. I've been busy with mom life, work life, living in general, but I was super excited to come home to have a package waiting for me. This is a lucky pack from Baby San Francisco. I'm actually super excited for it today because uh, the past couple of years, they haven't really had lucky pack. Brands have kind of migrated towards special sets and happy packs where they tell you exactly what you're getting. So it's not really a surprise, but back in the day, all we ever had was lucky packs. Nowadays they call them blind lucky bags or blind lucky packs. Um, because blind as in you don't know it's in there, you can't see. But for anyone who's been around long enough, you'll know that originally you would have no idea what was in them. You would be lucky if they told you that you were getting for sure a blouse and a skirt or something. Print and style was definitely a known. Some people may have heard of the infamous Bodyline Lucky Pack. At least one thing I don't have to worry about baby is them sending me 14 left sleeves. So back in the LJ days, everybody would have post after post after post during Lucky Pack season, uh, posting what they had. And if they got something that they didn't like, you know, they would add it at the bottom, like, oh, I didn't really want to keep this. Oftentimes they would swap items. Yeah, so it's been like a million years since, um, since I've seen a true Lucky Bag. The one joke that we'd always tell each other was, you know, were you lucky? As we know now in the year 2022, buying a Bodyline Lucky Pack is never lucky. So yeah, this guy is like super heavy. I'm really excited to see what's in there. Um, for these particular ones, all we do know for sure is that you would get a Karami JSK and Headbow set. Um, of course, you don't know what color. I'm kind of picky about color. As you can see in the back, all my preferred colors are black, black, black. Lavender sometimes, black, blue, and black. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it's uh, stuff that I like and I'll see if I was lucky. So yeah, one thing for sure, uh, if you're super picky about stuff, um, you probably might want to not take your chances with the lucky bag. Lucky packs are also amazing if you are newer and need to bulk up your wardrobe and that's certainly not my issue, but I just like baby. So oftentimes whatever I get from baby is going to be a win for me. Ooh, okay. So, so I have a red bag in here for starters. I know that oftentimes with the lucky bags, they will send a uh, fabric tote bags, just kind of like as a little something extra. Ooh, actually, this is kind of cool. So there's baby on this side and Alison Fire on this side. I actually kind of like this color. Oh, hey, I like imagine my hair. Yeah, so this is definitely something that I'll uh, use for like groceries and stuff or just in general in the future. Okay. Well, for starters, I see a bunch of black. So, uh, that's awesome. And I'm already spying uh, some stuff that I'm kind of excited for because I was eyeballing the website uh, to see what was on sale on Baby Japan uh, to see what I would potentially be getting. And I'm already seeing something that I like, so. Woohoohoo. So for starters, I am assuming that this is the Karami JSK uh, and it's the all black colorway, so I ain't mad. Oh yes, look at that head though, it's so cute. And I definitely got the black, black Karami JSK. And correct me if I'm wrong, um, but I do believe it's called the Karami, uh jumper skirt because of the type of fabric. It has this really cool uh, like vertical vertical stripe detail. Um, I have in the past, like back in the day, I do remember seeing um, some 
Angelic Pretty releases called Karami, JSK, or OP. And they had the same fabric, so I'm assuming that that's where it gets its name from. It's not exclusive to uh, Baby the Starshine Bright. Um, unfortunately, AP didn't release them as often as Baby did, and they haven't released them in a long time, and Baby still does. Which is why when people say Karami JSK, they're often referring to Baby because, as you can see, it's 2022. And I've had the Karami JSK in the past before. So like I said, mom life has kept me very busy. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, so I've only pulled out one thing and uh, now I only have one hand, so. All right, Violet. Open it up. Uh, well, so you pulled out one thing already. Look, it's this pretty black dress with the pretty black head bow. Look how cute you are. Now we have matching styles. We do. We both have black and we both have bows. We do. See, mine is a headdress, it's flat. And yours is a bow because it stands up. And then when Azalea is bigger, we'll put one on her too. Mm -hmm. This one fits me perfectly. It does. All right, so now we got to figure out what's in the rest of this bag. So no looking, close your eyes, pick one thing out. Close your eyes. <gasps> Ooh, what is that? I don't know, let's open it up. I will. Are you gonna open it up? Okay, she's gonna open it up. So pretty. What is it? <gasps> is this a bonnet? Ooh, cute. Oh man really long. Yeah, it's like how uh, mine is. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this is so pretty. I like blue. Here. That's my favorite color. Uh, what? I thought yours was orange. Perfect we got dress. some baby for the baby. <laughs> Look how cute Azalea. <gasps> Say hi. <gasps> and she's like, yeah, no. There is gold thread in the lace, and I don't know if you can tell in the video, uh, but there is like a shimmery yeah. sparkle. Ooh. Now we just need to find the matching dress. I know! I don't think they gave me that though. I'll see. Dang it. I'll see if there is. All right, ready for the next thing? That's yeah. really cute. I need to find the matching dress. Dang you, baby. All right, don't look. Pull something out. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, cool. So this is the Captain Chris. I don't know what the prince called, but it's Captain Chris. So this is the Captain Chris, whatever the prince called. I don't know, but it's the tote bag and green. And has these really cute uh, crisscross details. Do you want to open it for us so we can yeah. see it? Ooh, it looks like there's tassels on it. Swords and guns. Swords and guns. Oh, oh, oh. girl. Ooh, these little tassels on it is cute. I'm super stoked because I am obsessed with Captain Chris. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, it's so pretty. All right, ready? Close your eyes, pull something out. Whoa, that was, this is the last thing. Whoa, is this the OP? <gasps> it's the OP and you just dropped it all over the floor. Good thing I just swept in here. <laughs> Whoa, oh, yeah. and it's the blue colorway. This is the one that I wanted. It's a... Uh, Probably way too small for me in the shoulders, um, but whatevs. Maybe I can sacrifice the waist ties to make it fit me because this one piece is so pretty and I wanted this anyways, so uh, this is awesome. Look at the little pirate 
Pirate Captain Chris on the back. So cute. Nothing else in the bag. <laughs> Nothing else in the bag. So I got an OP a jumper skirt, a tote bag, and a bonnet that doesn't match anything. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, aside from that, I think I was pretty lucky. I got everything that I was hoping for. I mean, aside from having to either sell the bonnet or buy the matching dress, I think I did pretty good for myself. What do you think, Violet? Was I lucky? Yeah, you sure were. What do you think, Azalea? Were we lucky? Jump if mommy's lucky. Woo hoo hoo! Mama's lucky. I'm lucky. I'm lucky because I have my two girls. Okay, so we wanted to try some stuff on. So Violet over here is modeling the lovely blue bonnet. Woo! Do a twirl, girl. Hey, and it stayed on. So I was already wearing all black. My velveteen baby doll jumper skirt. And so I kept the blouse and, uh, and just threw on the crowny set. So here it is, uh, super cute, and uh, yeah, this is awesome, not even a petticoat, and and I'm totally okay with that. This is awesome, amazing, beautiful, yeah, I need it in every color, honestly. I'm not upset to have this, honestly, it's so cute and comfortable. So I was going to put this dress on the dress form to get a nice picture of it. Um... But I have a problem. It is too tiny to get on the dress form. Uh, the bust of this dress form is 87 centimeters. The waist of it is 67 and it's too fucking big to get on. So is this dress made for ants or what? which means it's gonna suck because it's going to have to go through quite an extensive alteration to get on this mom bod. And this really sucks because it's gorgeous. But um, this mannequin is like really petite. It's like not even a real mannequin. It's like one of those fashion it's like one of those fashion Hobby Lobby ones that I got on sale for 50 bucks and uh, yeah, disappointing. <laughs> Maybe I wasn't so lucky after all. But aside from that, like look how cute this fabric is. It's so cute. Oh, wine. Paw prints. There's his little logo. <laughs> uh, so clearly, uh, Captain Chris and I could throw some, some back together. The tassels are really pretty too. So yeah, maybe uh, if and when I can get this bad boy to fit me, we can have a club and meet up or something. Little Griffin. Hey, AZ Com, since apparently some of you guys watch these, uh, this could be us. All right, so thanks for watching. We'll see you around hopefully before the end of this year. Bye. Bye. Bye.